In all my years of being a brother, there's one thing I've learned. No matter what you do, your siblings' feelings will always somehow reach you. How's it going, people? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, Rudy, here, and I'm here to bring you a brand new video. Today marks the 10th day of the 12 Days of Anime. Yes, sir, we're on, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the home stretch. Christmas is right around the corner, and we're just bringing this list slowly to a close. But I still got to cut three more days left, including this one. So let's jump right on into the list and see what my lovely wife has brought us today. On the 10th day of Christmas, my true love, Kyoka, gave to me an outstretched hand from the series Clannad. Clannad is an amazing series from beginning to end, and, it, and most animes that I've seen rarely tackle the topic of families and how some can be strained and whatnot, you know. But in this particular moment, in the first season, this, this one little girl named Fuko was just trying to portray her feelings, rather, get her feelings out there for her sister, you know, by, because she wants, her sister wants to, um, get married, or rather, it's getting married, but she wants to do it at school, so, she's, um, carving these starfish with people's helps, you know, and, um, to try, hopes to get more people to come to her sister's wedding, who she wants to get, where she wants to get married at, at the, it's at the, um, school grounds, um, but, lo and behold, to, uh, later on, um, they start to forget Fuko, you know, as well, which is, and Tomoya and Nagisa is no exception. They do forget too, you know, but thankfully, the, she, her, Fuko's sister was worried about not getting married, but they, she was convinced to go through with it, um, and, but the thing is, here's the thing. She does get married. They almost, uh, Tomoya almost, and he almost forgets. But she, the starfishes help them remind them, because Fuko was actually in an accident, and she's currently in the hospital in a coma. And the, and she was also one time declared as a ghost, but she's not. You know, she, she's a living being. Just it's just her feelings were so strong that they were able to reach her sister. On her way day, and she was able to see her, see her sister get married, while still from the hospital bed. But it was such a touching moment, you know. And even her sister, Fuko's sister, older sister, under knew that she, she's gonna be okay. She's gonna pull through from and pull up and come out of her coma. <sighs> such a sweet anime. It was so much laughter and tears. And that's what a great anime should do. And this is a masterpiece, in my opinion. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, that this brings the tenth day to a close. Tune in tomorrow to see what my our lovely waifu will bring us to that day. Till then, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, till then, like, comment, and subscribe. Until then, I'm Rudy Verdon. You stay salty out there.